about Radon, or this is my third day of attempting to beat Radon. I don't know how to phrase that, but we're fighting Radon. Um, I've, this is going to be, well, technically my fourth. Um, I'm recording this, like, really early in the day, so I have no idea if it's my third or fourth day. But, um, yeah, everyone you see in this courtyard right now is the people that's going to be helping me fight Radon. So, uh, into the fray together, eh? And let's see what you're made of. Got blight, blight. The finger maiden lady. She just bows. I got the bow gesture from her. Um, this, oh, well, champions, welcome. The stars have aligned. The festival is nigh. General Radon, mightiest demigod of the Shattering, awaits you. Champions, prepare for battle. Defeat the general, claim glory, and grab. celebration of war, the Radon Festival. Okay, I think that's all he says, but, um, I wanted to show you guys that little, this little cutscene and stuff in this event, just to, you know, set the mood. So, I'm gonna talk to him. Are you good and prepared, young chum? The festival begins. Ready as I'll ever be. Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. I really like this cutscene. The dying dead horse. It makes me laugh though. Because he like Radon so big. General Radon is cursed ever to wander. And then the horse is so tiny and, like, frail. Eaten from the inside by a millennia scarlet rot, his wet sum all gone. Like, if this part's kind of gory, don't look if you don't like blood. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. He's pretty cool, though. Howling at, the sky. Howling at the sky. But now we must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions. The revels begin. The celebration of war. The Radon Festival. Nice. Okay, after that, little talk and cutscene. We should be able to travel, too. As I was saying, we should be able to travel to Radon's battle. Now, like, this is, I should have showed it, but this was closed earlier. Gotta take a little elevator ride to the beach. Radon was like, nice enough to set up a surprise at the beach, so we're going to be battling him at the beach. Let me go ahead and just go down. Oh, sorry. Let me just face forward so you guys don't get too dizzy. This elevator ride makes me dizzy. Don't worry. We have a stick of Marika, or whatever it's called, here, so, um, we don't have to do that whole cutscene and, like, speech. Every time I die, I could just go straight into it by going to the stick of Marika. Let's go ahead and do it.
to summon the other two. I kind of had like a flow or, or routine. Going, sorry, that wasn't supposed to happen. But we've summoned mo mostly everything. some sort of like play blade attack bay blade okay I...
the wrong flask.
supposed to. But I also want to pick up more. Okay, nice. Okay, we got everybody, I think. Except for Blade, because Blade just died, so.
This is really pretty though. That's probably why his name is called Star Scorched. Star Scorched is how you say it. He turns into stars. But, um, I usually do better around the 10th, around the 10th attempts, like, that's when I've stopped being bad at my, uh, runs, but a red mark was made on the map, cool. What do I do now? Is this on the map? What do I do now? Do I go back? Starfall Crater. I think that's the red mark. Okay, let's let's go over there, but first let's explore. But yeah, this wasn't one of the harder ones. Mainly because I was able to use summons. And the summons were indefinite. Like, usually if you use summons in a boss battle, once the summon's dead, you can't use it anymore. But in this one, you were able to, as long as you could find the summoning thingies, the summoning stones is what I call them, um, or portals, but yeah, this wasn't too bad. <gasps> oh, what's this? Oh, cool. Can I talk to everybody? Hold on. Hello? Why can't I talk to you? Oh, because I'm on the, I'm on Torrent. Hold on. some battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a croc. Oh shit. After that I hit like a coward. And as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. Wait, like, I want to see what he said. Oh, but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering, the greatest of all wars? Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait, when next we meet. <laughs> That's gross. That's kind of gross. You are what you eat, they say, but I think, um, that's gross. He's stuffing dead bodies in his jar, but it makes him stronger, so. The bodies. Okay. Well, I'm sorry I skipped out one last, one that last line, but hopefully you guys can pause it if you read it, but yeah. That was my bad. I was treating it like a Pokemon dialogue and kept pressing A. Okay, not Dr. Blight. Ah, good. I was waiting for you. What a sick way to find it. The glory of the clash is shared by Radon and you. And ah, did you see that afterwards? A falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radon was holding back something. He was a living legend if ever I saw one, and the path has now been cleared to Nagron, where Rani's fate will be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our swords once more for Mistress Rani. Let's on with the sword with her, then we'll go into battle again, side by side. My only purpose is to fight for Rani's fate, sword, and fang. The curtains rise. On the final act. Okay, cool. Star Scorch Rattan Blight the Half Wolf Alexander Warrior. Wait, where? 
Christ. Christ's dark, scorch, redon. Dark. Also, let me see. So figured out how to um, how to duplicate the remembrance. So I duplicated Renala's remembrance, and I got here. I'll show you guys. Also, I got Radon spears. I didn't use them, but I got them here. Um, I got this Carrion Regal scepter. It boosts the full moon sorcery. But I can't use it because my intelligence is too low. I have 25 intelligence and it needs 60. Boo, I know. And let me see. I have the Renala's full moon, which is even worse because I need 70 intelligence. But yeah, I found the walking mausoleum. somewhere over here and that's the one I used to duplicate the remembrance so that I could get both the scepter and the um whatchamacallit uh and the the sorcery the spell the full moon spell sorry I spaced out wait there's something glowing down there What's this? Oh, it's just a message. What does it say? The power of friendship. Does it say the power? Oh, praise the friendship. The power of friendship. It's not a lie, though. We did win with the power of friendship. But let's go ahead and return to entrance. I was spacing out because I was trying to figure out where Radon was, because it says Radon's here, too, but I couldn't see him. Outside the red main castle. Interesting. Let me see what happens if I click on this real quick. Hold on. I'm curious. And then we'll go check out the red crater. Oh, okay. I just can't put back inside. Alright, well, um. Let's go to Fort Eyed Waste. Okay. And then we'll check out the red crater thingy. Sorry if the battle was pretty bad. I expect it to last a bit longer, like too longer, and I do better like at the tenth attempt because um I've practiced, you know. The first nine attempts was just warm up. I didn't expect them to win to win on the fourth attempt of the day. runes do I have? Oh, 70. Oh, let's put it all in int. Because I want to use the carrion staff or whatever it's called. So we're going to use it all on int for now. Oh, I can only go to 20 now. Oh, yeah. It's okay. Intelligence. But we can also maybe... One in vigor, or one in mind. I've only been using Pebble Stone, and Pebble Stone doesn't use too much FP. But, um, you could use more health. But we don't really need health if we're doing a lot of damage with intelligence. Mm. It's okay. Next 
rocks at the bottom of it though. Let me figure this out. Okay, it's it's daytime so maybe I could see better. Oh, it's pretty though. I think it's really nice. Let's see. Um, what to do, what to do. Oh, some daylight. I think I'm supposed to go down this way. What is this? There's a traitor taken care of. Onwards to knock on then. Go on. I'll catch up. Okay. Blight left a message. Um, okay. I guess we're supposed to go on this way. Do I go down to these rocks? Do I go here? Let's go here. Let's follow this first and then if it's a dead end go to those rocks. Okay, looks like we're going the right way so far, I think. I'm not sure. Um, looks like a dead end now. Let's see, is there a way to go? No, okay, maybe it is that side. Okay, let's 
this jumble from over here. Land on those rocks. We okay? No. <laughs> Wait, there's writings over there though. I'm confused. How did the people get over there? Okay, um, I feel like this is gonna be the whole episode. This is the right place though, because the blade is here, so maybe this way instead. Okay, so we go down this way. Um, alright, we're, we're going down safely this time, we're not dying, at least it doesn't look like we're gonna die. This would be a cool thumbnail. <laughs> if my character didn't look so funny, or how about this side? Okay, maybe this is my good side, that's why it looks better now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the moving rocks are cool. Whenever I see moving rocks, I think of, like, earthbending, like in Avatar, or like, um, Terra from Teen Titans. my my horse anymore or torrent I can't use torrent anymore I'm so used to saying horse where am I where to where to okay go this side or that side I think
my god. There's so many of them. Uh, well, I can... Oh, what is that? susceptible to magic though which is good the power of oh ow what's behind me oh no there's multiple of them there let's get rid of these two first dodge that okay let's go let's leave oh gosh It's just golden runes, boo. fight or something for a calling finger remedy for a calling for a cling for a curling I read it too fast smithing stone oh the Sophia Waldos is nearby I need to find a, a lost grace so I can teleport to it try bravery um, okay. Uh-oh. I don't know how those things fight. I'm kind of scared. There's multiple of them. What if they're really strong? Wait. Let's try a different path for now. Before we come back. nothing. Oh, okay. At least I didn't die. Oh. Silver Terras. What's this one over here? Golden Rune. How did someone, someone got over there? How did they do that? Uh, can I get two of these? Oh, never mind. They're not... <gasps> They're so fast, they're scary. I don't like... They're like fast zombies. Like the specials. Uh-oh, I alerted one. This one uses bow and arrow. Oh, there's multiple. With bows and arrows. Oh, it's okay, they're doable. Where's the, the other one? The 
Sophia Welp does is like connected to the Nocrana Journal City. They're like near the same places. Okay, cool. Let's go a little bit. Oh, this place is this place is nice. Oh, I forgot to go rest up at the graveside and re replenish all my flasks. Let me do that real quick. Okay, that should be good. Alright, I should have all my flasks now. Yep. Um, let's uh, fight these creepy dudes. And then see which way to go. Wait, this guy's digging. They have shields. Usually means like a new store or something. But let's get these two that are just randomly here. Okay. Inverted hawk tower shield. What is this guy doing? He has a spear. What is he looking at? It's a melted. Look carefully. Oh, pretty. Wait, hey, that's the Sophia Depth of Wells. We saw that. This is such a pretty view, though. <laughs> so nice. I wish that message was. Oh, let's go to this side. Yeah, that, now that's pretty. Okay. Um, let's double check the area. Make sure we don't miss anything. Oh, oh, scared me, sir. Let's see. Ow. Oh, I might die to this gun. so soon after beating Renala, so I wasn't prepared on making another Elden Ring video for like a while, but um, yeah, the Rodan showed up, so I would have uploaded this video sooner, but I didn't expect to struggle with him so much, considering it took me not too long for like the other couple of bosses, but yeah, Radon took me like two, three days, not two, three, four days. So yeah, um, this video would have came out sooner if I had just beaten him sooner. <laughs> but uh, we're finally in Nogron Eternal City and we're moving forward a little bit faster story-wise. Hopefully, not sure. This is a main story, a side story quest. Let me know what you guys
was really funny how he rides his horse. I think he's one of the funnier looking bosses. Definitely really cool, like really cool moves, had really cool fight. I liked his fight a lot. The summons are fun. But um we, we got I think I thought it was really cool we got to fight with like all the allies we've met so far. Especially like Blight and Alexander. The jar, because I like those two a lot, but um I think Radon just riding on the horse is just really derpy. <laughs> just really funny.